Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Kipper0308, and today I am joined with one of my pals. Hi there. How's it going? Um, today we are bringing you The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD, and uh, we're going to do it challenge mode, I guess, is what you'd call it. Um, I'm going to be playing this game on hero mode, uh, and we're going to try to minimize the deaths. Uh, future Kyle, if you want to throw up a death counter right now, that's probably not a bad idea. Just to kind of, we'll kind of keep a track of the deaths that I do, because I will probably die a lot. Um, want to get this started, that way we're not, like, just playing that, which we're about to start. Uh, now we are going to skip the intro. Um, can you skip the intro? Yes, you can skip the intro on this, just that, because, like, I'm just going to assume, for those of you that are watching, that you've already seen the intro to this, and it's it's world building, but basically it's like, blah, 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 Ocarina of Time happened. <laughs> It's kind of parsed over a little bit, but it does it does actually talk about the hero of time. And if you haven't played Ocarina, it's Ocarina or Ocarina, yeah, tomato tomato. If you haven't played Ocarina of Time, uh, it basically says you know there was a hero of time, and that's pretty much how it was mentioned. And that's it. That's that's all they really refer to it. Maybe maybe the Temple of Time, and I think that's all they really kind of refer back to it. Uh, wherever this actually lays in the Zelda timeline is um, was kind of confusing at the time. There was no real official Zelda timeline until Nintendo um, officially released one. <clears throat> and before this, we we had two theories. There was a straight timeline theory and a split timeline theory. And I think actually that Nintendo really officially a, officially released a triple split timeline theory. Believe it or not. For this oh yeah. Game. Yeah. I mean, and. Uh... Also, you you're not you're not you're not really paying attention to what I'm. Right, we're playing. We're gonna be Blurple. This is the Legend of Blurple. Legend of Blurple. Legend of Blurple. Legend Wind of Waker Blurple. Mm-hmm. Um. So, um, I guess for the timeline, well, there are a lot of people who also think the timeline is absolute bullshit. <laughs> I'm almost one of those people because at uh, this point, who cares? It's like they they don't actually have any. It's like it's or... like mm, Zelda. I, I don't know. Some some of it I feel like is kind of forced. The fans demanded it, really. Yeah. So they got it. Yes. Sometimes you weren't expecting, you know, when you asked for something, and you don't know if you really wanted it in the first place. That's what they got. So, okay. So what I'm doing is a I'm doing a hero mode run of this game. Um, I would love to be able to collect all of the pictograph figurines, but we'll get into that once we get to the place where it is applied. Because uh, I know I'm a few. I'm assuming that some of you haven't played this before, and it has been out for a while. We are playing the HD remake of it, which is beautiful. Which uh, do here hasn't gotten to see yet. Not so, yet. Um, the last time I played this was on the GameCube, and uh, I, I actually complained that this game was too easy, and now uh, Kipper here is saying that there's a hero mode, which yes. is actually difficult. So, um, I, I did kind of skip past the dialogue box, but I'll, I'll go ahead and put the rules up on the screen right now. Pretty much, in uh, I'm playing hero mode, which means no hearts spawn at all, ever. Uh, the only way that I'm ever going to be able to get anything in this game is by, like, potions or soup or fairies. Like, that's it. Like, you can't get any hearts. You also take double damage. That's going to be pretty tough. Um, and the other kind of, I guess, self-imposed rule that I'm going to throw up right now, too, is that um, I'm going to take a selfie with every boss. <laughs> and we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, get, we'll get to that part once we get to the pictograph as well but that's not going to be for a couple episodes so did they, did they have a pictograph in the first yes episode? yes they had the pictograph in the first one man i i breezed through this game didn't i i really just breezed through the game see uh we also talked about when this game <clears throat> oh yeah there, it was it was the story i was going to get actually too uh uh do you remember the e3 the GameCube E3 when this game was announced, along with the few others like Star Fox um, and being, Sunshine. Being that, like, like I don't think I even knew what E3 was at that point. Oh man! Like you're talking about hype. I remember, I remember wanting a GameCube really, really bad. Um, it was that specific E3 where GameCube was like, "Oh, by the way, we're releasing a Star Fox game." We're releasing a, a new Mario game and a new Zelda and a new Zelda game. So everybody lost their collective minds at that time, <laughs> and we didn't expect Wind Waker really until a little bit later. But we thought 
oh crap, they're going to release that awesome, like you said, that tech demo. Yeah, because they had the tech demo uh, and everyone was expecting like another Ocarina of Time, which I mean, which is, I feel like what Twilight Princess became. It, it pretty um, much was. I mean, that, like, that, that was the more cinematic. Like, I think Twilight Princess is the most cinematic of all the Zeldas. Um, I like it. I liked, uh, liked Twilight. Twilight was the good refresher from the... It was completely different than Wind Waker because Wind Waker was a nice, cartoony, whimsical type of very light-hearted Zelda. Because look at it. Look, you're already setting the tone for the game uh, by just doing this. And Link is already like 5,000% done. He just knows what's going to happen already. He's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> in Twilight Princess, it already establishes the fact that it was going to be a very dark game. Um, everything about that game, the way that the style and the clothing and everything was very dark. This one was very humdrum. <laughs> Look at this. We didn't expect this, but um, you either loved it at the time or you hated it. I was at the time uh, on the school of not liking this. Game. I mean, and and I I feel like ever since then I feel like this game has gone from <laughs> the either or now now people just love it. Like I, I don't think there's I haven't really seen anybody that like hates. Especially this port. Now, this is a port that you had not even gotten to see yet. No, not yet. So I, it's aged well because it's already been designed to be timeless, as you were saying oh, earlier. Yay, now I'm Link. All right. Because oh, you, you, you're seeing games like that that are released nowadays that look like this. So this game feels like it's already pretty much going in up place. the stairs and going down the stairs. Going, going up the, the sideways stairs. stairs. Going up the sideways <laughs> stairs. <laughs> so I don't know if you can already tell like how much nicer. This one looks, looks compared. Great. Wow, look at the bloom. Yeah. Oh, there's this game has got bloom for days. Like there's there's it's crisp. I remember this looking okay on the GameCube when it came out. Oh my crap television. My non HD television. There's a lot of sounds I, I don't remember hearing too. Yeah. Oh I mean like everything got an overhaul. It's also neat, neat Rupees. HD. Like just this just the uh, the aspect ratio is kinda nice. Boom. Get some mad roops. It's always a good way to start. Kind of glossing over some of the intro dialogue, but that's okay. It's yeah. Link's birthday. Collect those stones. That's right. Get those rupees. Um, I think that's the first thing that was really nice about this is, um, hello, piggy. Hello, bait. Remember everything being very adorable in this game. It is quite adorable. Forgetting how to stop pressing the ZR button. Oh, just let, let me go, you jerk. <laughs> I was sitting over there being a pig. Now I'm turning you into money. He's literally a piggy bank at that point. Wow. Wow, they, yeah, they, <laughs> so, he's so, literally a piggyback. Solid contribution there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, like this game, this game was one of my favorite GameCube. I think actually it probably was the first GameCube played that game that like I played. I didn't get just this game when I got my GameCube. Um, Mine came with uh, Melee at the time. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I played Melee a lot too. Yeah, I did. I burned that game out. And then it, when we burned it out, then the... Uh, the Smash Brothers uh, board form or whatever started discovering all these glitches and crazy, crazy things. Like, yeah, you got some roofs. Oh yeah, well we're collect more pigs. I'm I'm going for I'm going for full pig party. You poor poor little boy who has no money. <laughs> Give well, me I'm, all my pigs. I, I have thirty six dollars. Oh, well, that pig's pig's on to you. He's catching on. He saw you what you did with the other one, so he's just like no. Let me give me my context sensitive press of the A button, please. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> run, little fat pig. Come here, come here, come here. I'm gonna get you. Get inside. There you go. There we are. Get inside my arms. The kid's like, hey, man. That kid freaks me out. Is it the one with the big snot? Yes. Kind of thing? Okay, there you go. I mean, I, I think he freaks everyone out, so like, I don't really know why I'm saying that. Like, I'm the only person in the world that has that feeling. You know who freaks me out? Tingle. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Tingle is, uh... He's a little, uh... Looks like he's in the wrong game. Well, and and you know what? Get ready for HD Tingle. 
HD tingle. Great. Tingle in HD. Mm -mm -mm. I kind of there was I don't know if you ever heard about this. There's like a really really weird um, tingle game that I think was only a Japan game uh, for the DS. Yeah, I it heard. was like a rupee. I, I know what you're talking about. Where's the uh, last pick? I sort of think I got out. Hey, Blurple! Hey! <laughs> Young folk and their ZL buttons pressing the A to talk to me. I try to get a pig, old man. I don't have time for you and your targeting. I'm just like, oh, whatever. Whatever, I don't care. God. I can talk to you far away, gosh. I'm like 11, I don't need this. <laughs> I have pig catching to do. Can't wait to post this to Instagram. Oh, oh geez. That's a little black piggy. Oh, dude, the Instagram but jokes will come. Like... We'll, we'll get to that. All right. All right. Come on, buddy. Eh. I never liked the black head the best because he... The little snout was, like, pink. Yeah. It's a cute little piggy. I also love the way they oink when you, uh... You all brought in with them. Hilarious. So, yeah, if this didn't set the tone of the game at first, then nothing will, because it's like, okay, you're collecting pigs in the beginning of the game. What do you do in the beginning of um, Twilight Princess? You're you're rounding up, uh, are you riding a bison or something, I remember? You were, you were on oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you're riding a pony and you have to, like, round up, um... Like, escaped, uh, like, either, was it, like... Well, first, first you have to have a little sumo, quote-unquote, minigame. Yeah, I remember that. Um, where you're stopping to go, that link is badass. Like I love, I love the Twilight Princess. But that link. set the tone completely. I mean, this is all about setting tone. I mean, because it's a long. Game. Oh yeah, I mean, and the the feel for this is so so good. Like everything about this is just it's nice, it's satisfying. Um, like I would I would love to go vacation to this place. It's so nice looking and pretty. Well, look at look at Link's civilian clothes. He's got like a little lobster on his. Uh... Yeah, he's, he's an Islander kid. Well, like, they're that's they're what all he Mariners, knows. yeah. Um, from, so, one, from one Islander to the next, I mean, this makes sense. Like, I mean, I grew up on an island, so it kind of makes uh, kind of makes me feel like at home. Oh, know. there you go. I did not know that about you. Yeah, I uh, grew up in uh, Atlantic City. Which okay. Is basically, a uh, we're on a little barrier island. I see. That's neat. It's a different different way of life. It's interesting to see. Um, the different tones and stuff. Yep. Oh, there we go. So um, I'm gonna gonna I'm gonna be a jerk. I'm gonna end it on a I'm gonna end it on a cliffhanger. So what's in the what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? I mean, you'll have to you'll have to stay till next time. Are you gonna stay till next time? Yeah, I, I hope you stay yeah, till next time. Of course. Time. You're, gonna hear, you're gonna hear more about uh, Dude's Island Adventures. More island adventures and, and terrible and what's in terrible the box? things. But what's in the box is the most important part. <laughs> All right. See you next time. Bye.